Welcome to a video about place value up to millions. Let's start by reminding ourselves of the place value columns up to three digits. We name the place value columns starting from the right with the ones column, followed by the tens and then the hundreds. When we have numbers up to and including six digits, we then continue moving from right to left with the thousands, tens of thousands and hundreds of thousands. Notice that this next set of place value columns follows the same pattern as our first three with the ones or thousands, tens and tens of thousands, and finally hundreds and hundreds of thousands. As we add more digits to form larger numbers, we move into the millions. Again, these place value columns follow the same pattern as before, this time with the millions matching our ones and thousands, then we have the tens of millions matching again with our tens and tens of thousands, and finally we have our hundreds of millions. Can you work out what the next set of digits would be classified as? That's right, billions, tens of billions and hundreds of billions, but for this video we're just going to focus on millions. Grouping larger numbers in sets of three like this makes reading and interpreting large numbers much easier. Let's have a look at some examples. How would you read this number? Well here we have a 7 in the millions column, so we would say 7 million. Then we have our next group of three digits in the thousands set, so we would read this as the three digit number 835,000 because it's the thousands set. And then finally our last set of three digits 629. So again we would say 7,835,629. Now let's have a look at our number without the place value table. Notice that when we write this number, we include spaces between each set of three digits. Sometimes you might see people write numbers using commas instead of spaces. This can sometimes be confusing because we use commas to list numbers. So have we written 7,835,629 or do we have 7, 835 and 629? So for this reason, we don't use commas within a number. We prefer to use spaces. These spaces also make reading the number so much easier as we can easily see when we have moved from the millions set to the thousands set. How would you say this number? First, let's examine the digits before the first space. If we ignore the rest of the number, we can see that we have the number 34, but really we have 34 million. An important thing to notice about this number is the zero. When we have zeros within a number, we can usually replace it with the word and. So when we read this number, we have 34,902,000, and now we can finish the number with our last set of three digits, 715. So now that we have understood the place value columns and how to read large numbers, let's have a look at the difference between place value and a digit's value. Place value is the position of a digit within a number, whereas the value of a number is how much a digit is worth based on its position within a number. Let's have a look at these definitions in action. Here we have 4,312,697. State the digit in the millions place. First we need to locate where the millions place is. This is easy because of the space is within our number. We can see our groupings of three and the four sitting out at its own. This means that the 4 is in the millions place. It is the 7th place value column moving from right to left. Here we have another number, 15,607,823. What is the place value of the digit 6? Here we can see the 6 is sitting in our second set of 3 digits. It's in the thousands set and it's sitting in the hundreds position within that set. So the 6 is really sitting in the hundreds of thousands place value column. Now let's look at these numbers again, but thinking about a digit's value. State the value of the 2. Here we can see it is sitting in our thousands place value column, which means the digit 2 is worth 2,000. In our second example, state the value of the 1. Here we've located the number 1 and we can see, again using the spacing in our numbers and our groupings of 3, that the 1 is sitting in the tens of millions column. This means that the 1 is worth 10 million. 
Well, I hope this video has helped you understand the place value columns up to the millions, as well as be able to read and interpret large numbers.